Hey guys, what's up? Freddy from CrossFit One World. I'm here with Chris. We're gonna go over the jerk movements, the push jerk and the split jerk. All right, so let's start first with the setup because the setup is the same for both of them. This is a progression right from the press to the push press and then to the jerk movements. So for those movements, the setup is always the same. Feet are underneath the hips, hands are outside of the shoulders, full grip on the bar, elbows are slightly in front of the bar. All right, and you're gonna turn sideways and you guys will get to see that. So go ahead and face me. Again, the elbows are slightly in front of the bar. Now he's gonna do a push jerk first. So we had a push press. What happens is there's a dip and a drive, a full extension to everything locked out over it. It's one straight line right from the dip. In a push jerk, what happens is he's gonna have a dip, there's a drive, the bar is going to start to come up. He's going to fall underneath that bar and catch it completely locked out. And then he's going to stand up with the load. All right. This is great movement for putting up a bigger load. All right. So let's see it first in slow motion. See what I'm talking about here. He dips, he drives, and then he falls underneath it before it comes all the way overhead. And now he's in this locked out position. And now he stands upright with the bar. All right. So let's see it at speed and stand one more time. Good, nice, that's the push jerk. Let's move on to the split jerk. There's still the same movement. There's the dip, the drive, and then the re-dip under the bar and catching on the bar, but there's some footwork going on here. What's gonna happen is he's gonna open his feet up to, to shoulder width apart from hip width to shoulder width, and he's gonna do basically like a lunge split. All right, one foot's gonna be forward, one foot's gonna be back. The back foot, he's gonna end up on the ball of his feet, and ideally you want both your feet facing in a straight line forward. But the movement and the action of the hips and the dip, the drive and the re-dip and the catch is all the same. It's just a difference in footwork and I want you to see the footwork right now. So go ahead and do a split jerk. So when he lands, you'll see his foot is straight. His back foot is straight. He's on the ball of the foot. He's still in that nice catch position. The shoulders are drugged. He caught it in a nice, active shoulder and overhead position. And now when he recovers to stand up, he takes a half step back with the front foot and a half step forward with the back foot. All right, let's go ahead and now he's locked out overhead. The bar stays overhead until he gets to that position. So let's see the movement again real quick. Here's the catch. Foot forward, foot back, ball to foot and lined up nice. Good, solid position. You see his recovery. The front foot comes back half a step the back foot comes forward half a step in that order. I'll loosen up as we go. Yeah. Give me Thank two more beers. <laughs>